All right, this is take three of my New Year's resolution video. Uh, this one's just going to be mostly about me, what I'm eating. Okay, this is a salad here. Now, it's got lettuce, tomato, uh, cucumber, cheese, lots of cheese, uh, cauliflower, and carrots and bok choy. And uh, it's just uh, this whole probably it's a fairly big bowl. It's, it'll probably last me like two and a half days to eat all that. And, uh, yeah, the reason, uh, I was going to put pineapple in it, but the reason I didn't was because when pineapple is really wet, and when it gets to the bottom of the salad, all the pineapple juice is going to be there, and it's going to soggy up the lettuce and whatever's on the bottom there, so that's why I didn't do that. And, uh, the tomatoes are kind of soggy too, but I only put one large tomato in there, and a bunch of cherry tomatoes in there, because the large tomatoes will leak their juices and stuff but they're not nearly as bad as a pineapple and uh, the cherry tomatoes won't until you go to eat it. Now I was going to put like salt or uh, dressing on there but I find that if I do that then oh there's also uh, red peppers in there too and uh, I find if I put salt and dressing on there then that's what I'm stuck with for the whole salad and if I want to eat something like a different dressing with it the next time I go to have salad then I can't so that's why I left it plain and it it took me about 20 23 24 minutes to cut up everything and make it the way it is but the real reason I made this video is for this okay this is a bag of frozen fruit I'm actually gonna turn it into a drink here okay I'm gonna, just gonna let this thaw and uh, I'm gonna throw a banana in it with a, a lot of orange juice because uh, with these frozen fruits if you put a lot of orange juice in and a banana then the banana sweetens it just nice and uh, the orange juice it, it really mixes well and stays mixed with the orange juices like some of them will separate like they'll part the whatever's uh, after a bit if you leave them for like a couple hours so but the real thing here is uh, frozen fruit most people don't want to wait for it to uh, thaw which I don't I'm one of those people so I'm gonna show you a trick here that uh, interestingly enough I used to own a snake and uh, I used to feed them thawed mice and uh, the best like they the mouse has to be warm enough for them to want to eat it unless I wanted to feed them live which I never did because that's cruel and it's cruel feeding them like a little mouse that really never had a chance but it was, it was a cute snake so <laughs> and that's the way nature is but anyways here this is how I used to thaw the mice and it works for fruits uh, you might not want to connect those two things in your mind while you're doing this but it works really well okay now I'm just going to show you that that's a mess that I made like on my counter. There's a bit on the floor. Like I just made this right now. And I'm just going to, what you want is you want to get really warm water. And then just pour it over the bag of frozen fruit. And then uh, when it's about up to here, well I'll show you. And uh, this bowl here, I did actually have a few more pieces of chocolate cake. But I am eating mostly fruits and vegetables. Okay. I treat once in a while, like especially now when I'm trying to get off this stuff, is okay. I mean, a majority of what I'm eating is very, very healthy, and it's all whole fruits and vegetables. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> a little chocolate cake here and there is not going to hurt me. And eventually, I'm not going to crave chocolate cakes. Like, I do crave it. That's why I'm eating it. I wouldn't eat it if it was there and I didn't want it. Like. If there's like a big thing of pretzels here, I probably wouldn't eat that because I don't really crave pretzels. I don't really like bread to begin with, but for those of you that do, I mean, pretzels, you can have pretzels when you want, chocolate covered pretzels, whatever you want. Just make sure that a majority of your stuff. Now, this will probably take about 10 minutes to thaw totally before I can blend it up. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, on the fitness side, I have done my workout once, and I am going to do it two more times. I haven't been able to, I, I did shovel my walks and stuff, and that took probably about a half an hour, 
but that I don't include that as a workout, but I, it was really cold out, and when I've gone to take my dog, like I always take my dog on my walks, and uh, he kept lifting his paws and stuff like after about two minutes into it, and then he just refused to go forward until I uh, started walking back, so it is fairly cold out. I'm probably only going to go for one walk today, but I'm going to take my dog, obviously, and when he decides he's had enough, then I'll come back, so uh, that will, I mean, if it's too cold out, I know I said last video that you can go anyways, but if your dog's whining, and he, he's not really too much of a winter dog, but he's got like a nice thick fur coat, and he's kind of fat, so that's a whole reason. I haven't gone for my walks. I, I need the companionship there. It's nice having them around to run with me. If you've been doing it by yourself and just listening to music, well, I mean, you're the one that calls the shots there, but I like having my dog with me. And he whines if I leave without him, so I can't really just leave him here. Uh, other than that, if you're doing this just like me, uh, keep it up and you're, you can do it. See ya.